here today i welcome you all to the 482nd meeting of the central delhi toastmaster club <laughs> well i see so many happy and exciting faces today um, but i don't know why this excitement is there when i am on stage because i'm not going to say anything exciting i'm just here for a gentle reminder and to explain why are we here why are we spending every tuesday meeting here well the mission of our club is to provide a supportive and learning environment so that the members can develop leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth and now to understand how many of us are actually working on improving our communication i would like to call upon four volunteers on stage One of them is Raga, and three more, please. Please, both of you are most welcome. Raga, please on stage. I need one more volunteer. Please. The one thing is, we do have some people with great self-confidence. So now the word of the day is shagging. I need four synopsis, like one from each of you. Uh, what does it mean? The meaning of the word, uh, word chagrin. It's a new word. Do you know the meaning of the word? Rava, can you explain? It means to feel distressed or humiliated, or when you feel infuriated. I don't see words. Okay. So would you like to try some another synopsis which has not been mentioned? Just a point. Good one. Anyone else who wants to answer this? Perfect. Thank you so much for volunteering. Now, without further ado, I would like to call upon the president of our club, Toastmaster Pradyum, who is very hardworking. Pradyum, uh, Toastmaster Pradyum, has passed out from uh, Saint Columbus School. He is uh, uh, very hardworking, as we all know. He is also something that nobody knows about Toastmaster Pradyo. He loves to act, and that's one of his hobby that he wants to pursue. So, with this, let's welcome Toastmaster Pradyo on the stage. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are we doing today? Great. Are we excited for this meeting? Yes. So am I. Before going further, let us take thirty seconds of silence for the world. Thank you, everyone. Now, every Tuesday, every Tuesday, you see me come up on stage and talk about Toastmasters. Talk about one aspect of Toastmasters that is speaking. That is getting the confidence to speak in front of an audience, public speaking. But there is one more aspect of it. One unheard, one unspoken, one implicit aspect of it, which I don't feel anyone talks about. What is The main tagline of those masters, if I may ask. Well, leaders are made. Well, leaders are made. Yes, it is so rare that we see in any meeting that we talk about leadership. We always focus upon the speaking aspect of it. We always focus upon confidence. We always focus upon tonality. But the leadership aspect is something which is always somewhere just you know down down to the gap carpet. Today I am here to talk about the leadership aspect and how those masters in general can help you become a better leader. Now you might be wondering how can these daily meetings, how can these weekly meetings, as on every Tuesday, help me or help my leadership? Well, in each club we have this committee known as the executive club. This executive committee is the perfect place for any member. Of those masters to practice to hone their leadership skills. You might ask how. 
whenever we whenever we start working in a team whenever we start working in a team of varying individuals coming from various background of various age group we start to learn one thing we learn that people are difficult we learn that everyone is difficult to deal with i am difficult to deal with everyone is difficult to deal with but how do we get better even in that leadership even in that kind of communication that we provide that we have within our ec those disagreements how to handle those disagreements how to take up those challenges how to handle those conflicts that you have with your ec members that is where that moment that situation is where you learn how to be a better leader how to handle difficult situations how to have difficult conversations and these conversations may not be a conversation with the ec these conversations may be your conversation with your spouse with your girlfriend with your parents and that is where you learn that it's only through words it's only through words can any leader communicate command or address even in those masters we start off from the club in the executive committee we then have the area and area is a particular section under which different clubs come over that we have the division over the division we have districts and that is the true place where we learn how to become a better leader we learn how to delegate tasks we learn how to be dedicated towards something and handle our personal responsibilities at the same time so those masters be aware is those masters not this the place for public speaking it is not just a place for you to gain and be confident it is not just a place for you to get rid of your nervousness it is also a place for you to become a better leader it is also a place for you to handle difficult situations to be a more respectful person with that being said i would now like to call upon guests over here on the stage for the introduction we have guest third today on the session stage with us guest third would you please like to come up on stage tell us who you are what do you do and how did you come to know about those masters uh thank you so much for a warm welcome and it's not the warmest welcome i believe on the mnb so really thank you uh my name is harsh goida i am a investor in stock market and uh, i saw this meeting i found you on the internet and Very good evening to all of you. Amen. Thank you, dear fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Directly, I would put you some questions. Let me ask you one thing: How would you? Can you think of surviving in a school or in a college without friends? and can you think of celebrating your success without friends okay think of a party where you have all the things required eatables and everything the ambiance for the party but you are all alone would you call it a party yes dear friends i know the answers to all these questions is a big no right but my question is that why is it no why can't we celebrate our achievements all alone or can the achievements be called achievements if we don't have anybody to share with share our happiness with it is simply because we all are social animals yes we are social animals we cannot survive all alone so on this note 
not only these questions prove that we are social animals, these situations prove that we are social animals. Rather, if you think of today's meeting, if you think of every Tuesday meeting, Toastmasters meeting, why do we come here? Just now, our president, TM Pradyum, told you that it is not just a place to enhance your speaking skills, to enhance your listening skills. He said that it is also a place to hone your leadership skills. But I would add one more. This is a place where we can strengthen our relationships. Am I right? Give me, give me a shout out. Yes. Thank you very much. So, dear friends, this has been proven that we all here get together because we cannot survive alone. We need companions, we need friends, we need relationships, and we find out ways to strengthen our relationships. So, without further ado, we'll keep on discussing the topic, the theme of the day, relationship, how important for all throughout the meeting, let me introduce the structure of the meeting. It simply consists of mainly three sections. The first section consists of prepared speeches section, wherein we have three speakers who will be delivering their prepared speeches. You'll be honing your listening skills and they'll be honing their speaking skills. Followed by table topic section, wherein we all, the Toastmasters, as well as the guests, will get a chance to deliver impromptu speeches. Yes, it's especially a request to all the guests, if present there in physical room, to participate in this table topic section. Last but not least, there will be an evaluation section, general evaluation section, where we will get constructive feedback. All the speakers who are the meeting, all the role players who are the meeting will get a constructive feedback. So without further ado, once again, give a big round of applause to all of yourselves for being here. Let's begin. Let's begin our day. Now, I had been talking about friends. No doubt, friends are an important part of forming relationships in society. But there is another unit also, which is very, very important. And that is family. But there are so many things related to the relationship that exists in family that we need to ponder that we need to discuss. We'll keep on discussing one by one. But before that, let me invite the team of auxiliary role players who are here to strengthen our meeting. Because without them, our meeting cannot sustain properly or at all. So I'll keep on discussing along with the introductions. Let me first invite on the stage Madam Timer, TM Pooja. Please give her a big round. Before so you begin, you. before you begin, TM Pooja, let me put you a question that will be uh, helping us to move ahead in our meeting. Do we have the power to choose the family we are born in? What do you think? Excellent point, Rose Master Rashmi. Thank you for bringing that up. Do we have the power to be, uh, like, do we choose our family? Well, uh, we don't really choose our family, but I think we can definitely choose how we create that bond with our family. That's absolutely within us. And also, I feel that relationships uh, such a beautiful topic, and I think this is important in every aspect of our life. Today, uh, what we become as a person is absolutely by the people we are surrounded with, being our family, siblings, friends, extended friends, our networking group, 
I think they all add a lot of flavor and elements in each one of us. So Thank really you very much. Thank you very much, TM Pooja. Now over to you for introduction of the role because she is the one who is, who is going to tell us how do we manage the time. We'll keep on talking about managing relationships further. Over to you. Thank you, Rose Master Rashmi. So, like she mentioned, the importance of relationships, and like I highlighted, relationships are so important. So, is the timing? Well, timing is very important. <laughs> and uh, throughout the meeting, you will know how I'm going to interrupt uh, all the speakers and role players by showing the cards. And let me explain you. So, today, uh, I'm Pooja Kodeja, and I will be uh, the timer for today's meeting. And without further ado, let me explain you how uh, I'll be uh, helping the team with the timing, with the management of time. Uh, firstly, with the uh, speech segment for the prepared speeches. For an icebreaker speech, I'll show a green card when, uh, for four minutes, yellow card for five minutes, and red card when uh, six minutes. And uh, for uh, the speeches, I'll be showing uh, green card for five minutes, yellow card for uh, six minutes, and uh, red card for seven minutes. Now, coming to the table topic speakers, table topic speakers will be given the time of one to two minutes, where in one, I'll be showing the green card, in uh, one and a half minute, I'll show yellow card, and in uh, two minutes, I'll be showing the red card. Is everyone listening to me? Yeah. Yes. yes. Riddhi, can you please tell me how much, what are the timing for table, uh, table topic speaker? One minute, one and a half, and two minutes. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, for speech evaluator, two minutes, I'll be showing green card. Two and a half minutes, I'll be showing yellow card. And three minutes, I'll be showing red card. Also, buffer time of 30 minutes on lower and upper side for all the speakers, except the table topic speaker, uh, where the buffer time of 30 seconds is only on the upper side. Uh, with this, uh, now I would like to, uh, also I'll be coming uh, at the end of the meeting when called by the general evaluator to present my report. And uh, now without further ado, I would like to hand over the stage to the viewer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam <laughs> Moving ahead, now is the turn of language evaluator, TM Raghav. TM Raghav. Question to you. My question to you is, would you like to choose the same parents if given the choice? Oh, that's an interesting question. Ma'am, I would definitely choose the parents I have because I have adapted them. Now I know how to handle them. I know how to make them feel good and we are. I Thank you very much. Thank you very much, TM Raghav. I got my answer. You have adapted. Yes, friends. In the family also, we need to adapt to the situations, to the relationship. We'll keep on discussing. Over to you first for the introduction of your. Thank you, Toastmaster. So, good evening to the fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. So, having relationships in life is so important, right? to be happy, to, you know, express our emotions with our loved ones, we like to know what we really are. We really need to have relationships in our lives. So in our life, we have relationships like family relationship, friendship, acquaintances, and also romantic relationships, which are limited to some people. So, <laughs> So now, in order to maintain our relationships, we need to have effective communication with our loved ones. Now you will ask why. So there are some times in we have, we have in our situation we have times at which we have miscommunication with the people we have we are related with. So so effective communication plays the role at that place. So, 
so you see the importance of using correct grammar and language in your relationships so i'll be playing the role of language evaluator for this meeting and i'll be writing some good usage and bad usage of english language so the day of uh, word of the day is chagrin which i have already told that it means to feel infuriated so for example he felt chagrin when he realized his mistake and the idiom of the day is here as mud which means very difficult uh, very difficult to understand something for example his instructions were as clear as mud so i request everyone to please use the word and idiom of the day as many times as you can throughout the meeting and and i also request to please show thumbs up when the idiom and the word of the day is spoken in the meeting and <clears throat> last thing uh, the mode of communication will be english so if anyone speaks i'll uh, speak something other than english i would request them to please translate it in english so that is from my side i'll be back with my report back to you more to my shoulder thank you thank you tm raga for explaining your role so nicely now may i invite on stage tm praveen the half of the well tm praveen before you begin my question to you is don't we start expecting unconditional support from our family members does this happen i mean tm rashmi could you just please uh, repeat your question i couldn't understand properly my voice is clear yes it's clear don't we start expecting unconditional support from the family members in our family don't we feel that our family members will definitely provide us the support whenever we need them is this yes, our mindset I, yes uh, thank you dm rashmi for the question so i, I think it is sometimes justified that we sometimes seek unconditional love or support from not from our family not only from our family members but also from our uh, friends or from our colleagues in the workplace sometimes like when we are in trouble or when we are in stress we expect that some uh, like our what do, you, what do members, you think is the reason what do you think is the reason but i think uh, from the beginning from our childhood our family members like for example if our mother she pampers us at every time so we get adapted to that situation to her pampering or to her love and sometimes when uh, our mother or father scold us for our mistake so we are not able to adjust to that mistake we are not able to get over the that so i think uh, sometimes we uh, feel that we always need unconditional support or love from our parents thank you very much yes dear friends we start expecting unconditional love because we are surrounded by the members right from our childhood and we do think sometimes and sometimes we don't think that we also need to pay unconditional support to them so would we thank you very much and now let's see what does tm praveen expect from us as our come over to you good evening fellow to smarters and dear guests having relationships is very important in our life not only with our family members but also with your friends also with your neighbors also with your colleagues in the workplace because you need your family members and all of their relationships every time in your life at every phase right from the childhood to your adult to till the phase when you become old because without relationship you will not be able to survive in the society and now coming back to my role as the accountant sometimes uh, there are instances when the teachers give the teacher there are sometimes usage of unnecessary sound of filler words which sometimes hamper the effectiveness of the speaker to deliver the speaker which in turn also leads to the audience not able to understand or listen the speech properly so my role as an accountant would be to listen for the use of filler words such as if you know but 
and also I will listen to the use of filler sounds such as uh, um, uh, etc. And I will also note down the use of some repetitive spaces or words such as I, this means, and I will be noting down the number of instances when each speaker uses these phrases, these expressions, sorry. And, and I will present my report in the evaluation segment. Thank you and back to Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, TM Praveen. And now, the conversation we had with several members, we are getting nearer to the point that yes, we need relationships to survive in family. The family is such a support system that provides us unconditional support. Yes, this is true. But let us move ahead to TM Hrade, the parliamentarian of the day. First of all, please help me welcome TM Hrade. Thank you, TM. Yes, TM Hrade, we have concluded or we are getting to the point that yes, family is a support system by default. But still, we have difference of opinions in family also. So my question to you is, what would you do in case you have a difference of opinion with your parents? How would you handle the situation? Uh, how would you handle a situation if you have difference of opinion with your parents at certain point? At that point of time, I would uh, I would rather listen to my parents rather than following my point and uh, as they have like uh, all the world more than me and they have more experience than me and uh, our parents would always go would want the right for us and I would uh, stick to the to their opinion and will follow them. Can you come closer to the mic and please clarify your point again? I'm saying uh, that if our opinion should be different, I would follow their opinion because their experience are far greater than mine and their uh, vision is far greater than mine. And our parents are all will always stick to uh, support us and I would follow them. Thank you very much, CM Hade. That means you will respect their opinion in spite of the fact that you don't agree with them. Why? Because you want to sustain the relationship. So with this fact, let us hand over the stage to you for your introduction. Thank you, Dr. Oni Rashmi. So today my role is as a parliamentarian. I will guide you all through the rules and I I would like to I would like you to follow them. Some of the rules are that uh, online online uh, guests and uh, DM, uh, DMs uh, should always keep their mobile on silent and should always keep their video on and their uh, audio must be muted. Uh, entire and exit should be at the time of the blog and and the mobile phone should be on silent. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now help me welcome TM Fareed, the listener of the day. Hi, good evening, fellow good evening, Good evening, good evening TM Fareed. One minute. Yes. Do you know what is Newton's third law? Sorry? Can you recollect it's what you had read? In like okay. That. Okay, you don't forward. remember. Sorry, Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay. okay. Let, let, me, let me tell you. Third law says, Newton's third law says that every action has equal and opposite reaction. Now I keeping this... Now, keeping this law in mind, if I give you a situation that what would happen if you make fun of your friends all the time? 
Uh, if I find one friend, he was asking that. What will you happen if you make one of Generally, your friends? Generally, fun oh. of your friends. If you may keep on making fun of your friends, always. Uh, I think uh, it. Uh, if we are making fun to the friends, if, uh, uh, of course, it, um, uh, our relationship will be not longer because he feel he is making always fun. And that so he feel all like uh, that was charming. He always feel. Yes, according to Newton third law, they will also react one day, right? Yes, yes. Similarly, if you keep on arguing with your friends or with your family members, one day what will happen? Of course, we have Same to respect thing them. Will happen. Yes, so we need to keep a check on ourselves while we are in relationship, whether it is with friends. Or we are in family. With this note, I hand over the stage to you. Thank you. Uh, so good evening, fellow Toastmaster and dear guest. Today uh, uh, I am Parit Ahmed. Here I am playing the role of active listener. Uh, so before uh, just telling about my role, just I would like to touch upon the theme. This very interesting, very emotional theme, I would say, because. Everybody is having lots of relations and friends, brother, father, mother, and sister, daughter. So everybody is having lots of relations, and each individual has played a vital role in our life. Because if we don't have the relations, just imagine we are nothing in earth. Because we are nothing, <laughs> we are doing everything for our relative relationship for our daughter, mother. A father, every and friend, colleague, so each individual is having uh, the playing a vital role in our life, and they are giving our friends in our life, and they are all we are celebrating the success with them. So, as you said, it's very important to have a relation, and relationship. I think uh, they don't need the permission and the uh, terms and condition. Uh, I think uh, the relationship we need. Uh, uh, the trust should be there in between two relationships and the understanding and respect. We have to respect to each other. And the fourth one, I would say, the very important listening because listening is very important. If we don't listen to people, how we can build up the relationship with each other? So, uh, just so that listening is very important in our life, that it's playing a very vital role and key component in our communication also. So today, I'm playing the role of uh, active listener. And so, just my role is. Be active in all the meeting, and just I will listen all the speeches, prepared speeches, and table topic speeches, and then uh, note down some sticker points, important points, and after that, just uh, when the uh, general evaluator, general evaluator will call me, so I will present my, uh, I will ask some questions, so that uh, who will uh, give the right answer. Uh, so I have something for that, uh, definitely. Uh, so this is hidden in the back. <laughs> so, uh, so keep just my role is encourage to keep active, very active listener. So just uh, I will ask some very interesting questions at the end of the uh, evaluation. Thank you so much. And back to the Toastmaster at me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, CM Hari. Dear friends, keep on listening attentively. Now is the time to invite the joke master of the day to tickle your funny bones. Because laughter is the best medicine to make any relationship sustain. So let us invite on stage TM Arvind Shah. Thank you very much. Is there a question yes. for me or should I, should I <laughs> You can go ahead with your uh, jokes. Oh, great. Thank you so much. I was nervous. What question are you going to ask me? Sorry. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Arvind, and uh, today I'm going to tell you a story. I don't know if it's a joke, but it's a, it's a story of, it's a true story of my life. As a kid, I was very notorious, and uh, uh, I was very uh, blunt kind of a kid. Now, a few of you gonna say I'm still, but I'm saying the truth. As a kid, I was very blunt and I was very notorious. Uh, I was in second standard uh, and uh, I was in school. My mom received a call from the principal, and principal said one sentence: "Your kid is not letting other kids study. Please take him back." 
My mom is always known for her short temper. She beautifully went to the school and I was there and right in front of the principal office. So I'll tell you what exactly happened. How many of you see Amitabh Bachchan's mud movie or have heard of it? Okay, so yeah, most of you. So like in that movie, I also asked my very best friend Shankar Dayal to write mud on my chest with the marker pen and I was flaunting it in the entire class on a free period. And I was behaving like I'm Amitabh Bachchan. Somehow the principal was in round talking and started beating me badly. <laughs> my, when my mom came in, my mom took the charge from the principal <laughs> in the school. And she started beating me till we reached home. In fact, I saved myself twice from falling down from the rickshaw. When I reached home, I was completely shattered because two ladies back to back beaten me up. <laughs> So I, 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 I had my lunch and I slept. I woke up after a couple of hours and I saw my mom is just sitting right next to me. She was, she had pain in her eye. You know, what felt the brain, motherly love. She was feeling bad for me because I've been beaten up since morning. So she immediately hugged me and she said, beta, beta, why, do you know why I beat you? Because I love you more than the world. And like I said, I'm a very blood child. I immediately replied, Mother, even I love you most in the world, but I cannot reciprocate. <laughs> she gave me and I, I and threw me, threw, threw me out of the bed and I started running towards the main gate and I screamed, if this is the way you love, I don't know how my father is still alive. <laughs> I Thank you very much, TM Arvind. I know we all are happy to be here and listen to your jokes and nobody will chagrin that they had not attended the meeting. So without further ado, he realized that relationships do not click by themselves. We need to make them click. But how there are some keys to make them click. We'll keep on discussing along with the meeting let us start with the first section prepared speeches section first of all let me invite on the stage the first speaker of the day tm deepak das but before him let me invite the evaluator of tm deepak das tm sahajdi to introduce the title of the speech of the speaker as well as the object over to you, TM Sahajdi. Good evening, everyone. So, TM Deepak Das will be delivering his level one project two speech of pathway visionary communication. The title of the project is Writing a Speech with a Purpose. The purpose of this project is to learn a review basic methods of writing a speech and to present a well organized speech on any topic. So, all the best to PM Deepak Das, and I hope that you will be clear as to your part of your topic. Over to you. So, dear friends, before I invite PM Deepak Das on stage to deliver his speech, the first key to make the relationships click is good communication. Yes, it is like an oxygen for making the relationship survive. Keep it in mind. While I invite TM Deepak on the stage, please give him a big round of applause. TM Deepak. <laughs> TM Deepak, let's dig deeper. Let's dig deeper. TM Deepak, over to you. Today, I want all of you guys to do me a favor. I will ask you guys a few questions. I want all of you to answer them honestly. Okay? So, Toastmasters offers us a lot, a lot of things. But how many of you primarily joined this club to get better at speaking English? Okay. Oh, the guys who raised their hand. How many of you 
convert in English outside this term. You all, okay. I'm trying to find out more. When required, when required, I mean, can you describe how often is that? This is as of like in the college where you have to communicate with the peers that the way this is the formal scenario, obviously in English, but when it's like the level of formal scenario, we even have the college where you have to communicate with the peers. Yeah. So usually you don't, but in the formal letter you do. Yeah. So if I'm not wrong, it's about two hours, and I can say a couple of more hours when it has been way practice speaking English. Yes. Uh, okay. So now tell me honestly, how many of you are actually satisfied with the progress you make every week, or is there a feeling that you're not doing as fast as you would like to? Anybody would like to answer that? Are you guys satisfied? No answer. You are satisfied. I'm satisfied. You're not satisfied. Slowly progressing. So you're satisfied with it. I'm not doing as fast as you would like. Right? Same in your case. So and you? I'm satisfied. You're satisfied. I don't know the reason for it. Yeah. By now we understand that we have a situation. Okay. We're not. Some of us. Are not satisfied with the progress that we make every day. We would like to grow faster. Uh, well, so we can clearly see this is a problem, and enough talking about the problem. Let's talk about the solution. What can we do to grow fast, to practice speaking more? Does anybody have any suggestion? Think in English. Great, because I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to elaborate on that. Great, great. Any other? Yes, I have this unique solution because I was facing a problem with uh, my vocabulary. I wanted to increase it. So uh, maybe reading newspaper and writing down, jotting down the new words in a WhatsApp group, single WhatsApp group that we can get our notebook. Something like that. I think reading will help me. Yeah. Even I think reading is very important. How many of you actually read? Okay. You guys try to read. How many of you actually want to read? Try to read. Try to read. You can bring us back up your point. That's a great point. I don't do that. I will do that <laughs> from now on. <laughs> Today I will share two two points that I use in my personal life uh, for trying to grow as fast as I would like. Also, uh, it's being before I tell you guys what it is. Another question: Does anybody here, before speaking, think in English, translate it in English, and then speak? Anybody? Yes. How many? Okay. Anybody can raise their hand. Sometimes, sometimes, right? Sometimes, right? I think I don't do that, but uh, while I'm trying to learn something, yeah. especially uh, something related to subjects, like right? yeah. so when it's kind of it's uh, you are reading it, reading it, but if you kind of think it in Hindi, it makes easier for you to understand what you and, and learn it fast. You learn it faster. Yes, because that's your first language, Hindi. Right. So we often make this mistake of translating. Right. We translate. We think in Hindi and then we try to translate. Honestly, I think it's a pitch that almost every beginner falls into. I would honestly say that never translate because I think Hindi and English are two different languages. Uh, we may not always find a suitable expression or a suitable translation for every expression in Hindi. For example, if I have to translate. You just loot right? I'd say he's looting. Does that sound nice? But how about he's ripping me off? That sounds much better, right? So you can clearly see that we may not always get an equivalent translation of every expression in the Hindi language. So what should we do? The answer is we need to learn more ways to express ourselves in English. We need to learn how we can express that feeling or situation in the English language. If we don't know, we can ask. We can take help of our fellow Toastmasters, like with with or Toastmaster Arvind and very Arvind. Another thing that he highlighted, I would like to touch upon that as well. Uh, thinking in English. How many of you actually think in English? I don't know. Thank so many guys because I don't. I didn't use. I mean, and but it has been a game changer for me. 
Like thinking in English, I would say for someone who doesn't think in English, thinks in Hindi, it's not so easy. No better tool. But it's a game changer, especially for those guys who don't have a company to speak English with. Especially for the guys who are alone and who need company. If you do not have somebody, thinking in English can really change the game for you. Uh, it helps you practice English when you're alone. Uh, it uh, also makes you aware what is it exactly that you can play and what is it that you cannot play. So you know exactly the areas that you need to work on. And I just got, I just came to know about this, you can say a year ago. And I've been doing this, it has helped me a lot. And I hope it's for those guys who don't do it. Most of you do it, I didn't expect this from my speech, but most of you do it. But for those who don't do it, I hope it does the same for you. It changed. It has changed the game for me. I hope it does the same for you. And I'm repeating, I don't know why. Uh, I hope my insight helps you guys. Uh, you guys practice more, grow faster. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, TM Das, for such a wonderful speech, interactive one. While I'll be inviting the evaluator of next speaker, speaker to TM Bhavanan. Let me invite on stage TM Gurpreet to evaluate his speech. TM Gurpreet, over to you. And especially Bhavanan. So Bhavanan would be giving a project tree from level one speech, and the project title is Introduction to Body Language and Vocal Variety from the past presentation master. I wish Bhavanan all the very best. Thank you very much, TM Gurpreet. And now over to TM Bhavanan. TM Bhavanan, do you find something in yours? Do you find it? Hello, TM Bhavanan. Over to you. Thank you, Timot, Rasmi, and TM Gurpreet. Good, good evening, Toastmasters and guests. Do you find something in yourself? We go in fast for two seconds. We all made, we all made timetable for 10th exam, 12th exam, and competitive exam. And followed few days, and after that it vanished. We again made new timetable with energy, and again followed for few days, again vanished. Again made another plan. And again, after few days, that ended. Similarly, let me introduce another story. We set alarm in morning for waking up, right? We set alarm at 6 a.m. <laughs> and also we wake up. Then close it and again. Right. And let me introduce another story, health conscious person. They also make a diet plan that I will follow this. I will not eat this thing. I will eat this thing. And when they get some tasty food that they thought that I will not eat, then they think, OK, OK, one time more. After that, I will not. <laughs> So my question is, most of us, most of us, why we fail to follow that plan? What do you think? Those monsters and kids, what do you think? Okay. Okay. I think it's discipline. 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 Discipline.
okay so if we summarize all things so that will come under discipline so why there is a lack of discipline we can say when we make a time table or any plan then we don't have realistic goal we don't have clarity that's why we are going to do this right we don't have burning desire that's why you are going to do that right so how how we can how we can we can be disciplined so there are two types of discipline so before that let me tell you what you mean by discipline so it came from latin word disciplina it means determination self control and orderly way of life so already i told there are two types self control and force control so if you are self control then then it is not required that you would be force control so let me uh, let me tell you if you are a student or employee in any organization so if you are not self control then at many time you would be force control is it not and if you are self control if you have clarity that what you have to do that then it is not required that you would be you would be force control by someone else right so sachin tendulkar sachin tendulkar he was the legend of cricket but still he used to practice he used to practice let me tell you another name ambani adani they don't need money now if they will not do anything okay then very smoothly they can live a life but still they do work and how how they do work because they have discipline and why they got such type of discipline because they have clarity they have burning desire and they know why they are doing that work right and also if you want to be good communicator so one of the one of the common characteristic that you should have discipline without discipline we can't be good communicator discipline means what so here discipline of practicing without practicing you can't be good communicator so how we can be good communicator so there are some points that you should follow so point number 1 when you are making any plan any plan so firstly you should ask yourself that why you want to do that why you want to achieve that okay second point you should have burning desire that why you want to achieve third point third point you should be organized you should prioritize your work because in day to life you have many work so you have to prioritize that work and respect your time respect your time next don't see entertainment at regular interval of time that is also a big time consumer okay and try to say no those work those things that are not interested for your plan for your goal try to say no in day to day life your friend will say uh, let us go for movie and uh, for some entertainment for something else so try to say no you should think is it required for my goal if not then say no because that is the biggest enemy we knowingly unknowingly involved in 
unnecessary work and we don't devote useful time on your plan on your goal thank you back to timosh thank you very much tm bhavanath yes dear friends we have realized that we need to have burning desires if we want to be disciplined very true similarly we need to have burning desire to make our relationships click the second key to make the relationships click is to have trust in each other yes build in the trust in each other if you want your relationships to click and now let me invite on the stage the evaluator of the third speaker tm darshan tm darshan over to you thank you so much madam toastmaster good evening fellow toastmasters and distinguished guests and good evening to toastmaster ritvik dash in particular well, the speaker will going to deliver today from level 3 as project is inspire your audience from the pathway presentation mastery and the speech objectives are as follows well the objective of this project is for the member to deliver a speech that inspires others it can be anything any anecdote from his or life that creates a positive impact on the audience well time over please note the time the time for the speech is 5 to 7 minutes and i will present my report in the evaluation segment i wish the speaker all the very best and eagerly waiting to hear that inspirational speech over to madam toastmaster thank you very much <laughs> now let me invite on stage tm ritwik dash with his inspirational speech tm ritwik up from the abyss up from the abyss tm ritwik over to you Ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary, the winner of the Frank Anthony Debating Championship is. Thank you. So, Mr. Rick, it was pretty a nice speech, but I think problems with your presentation. Uh, you know. If you want to face those convent trained people, go at thirty-three minutes speech. Yes, sir. Um, pretty much uh, up to the mark. Pretty much developing myself, my skills. You can please go forward and give your suggestions. Well, suggestions are many, but at the end of the day, it's just one quote. That takes it all over. The best is make a man. Okay, now you know it all. Now you need to take a leave. Last one, well, thank you so much. Well, that's how my principals have treated me on 30th June 2019. Pretty close to what they get. So it was all a shagrind moment for me. And again, it was not clear. It was pretty much clear as mud for me. Now, why was he going forward, giving me these statements? Now, after having going through my communication endeavors throughout the years, and then you come at class eleven, and then you get this sort of statements from the principal of your institution. Fourteen June two thousand nineteen. The Frank Anthony debate. Well, Ritwik Das was really concerned about what he will be speaking that day. The conversation at the principal sir's room had kept him shocked. He was pondering upon the fact what he's going to do the next time. For the time being, Ritwik is thinking upon either to give up. Or to go forward, rise up like the ashes, like a phoenix, and win it all. Well, you know what? 
it was back in those days when he was in class six, when his father had wanted to save him. That's it. You know what? My politician comrades have all sent their children to the don't school. But I'm sorry, I don't have the finances to send you to a convent. Only that I want to. The fact is, even I thought of the same thing, or either to lose out, to give up. But no, I wanted thought, I made in my mind, I'll go forward and defeat all those children out there. Because I believe your financial background can never be a judge for what you're going to become in the future. That's pretty much the story. The so Frank Anthony debate was pretty good. Uh, the St. Thomas folks and the Don Mosco folks, along with me, we were all in the top three. And CPS was just about to get a medal. CPS, my school. Now comes the Reverend with his report. The winners of the Frank Anthony debate in competition is. Rohit Bhattacharya and Francis Ghost from Don Moscow Bandit. Second is Philip Cross, Gayatri Chatterjee, and Rohit Islam. Lamar Yeah, it was a failure. I'm pretty sure you expected me to end up meeting the victorious Bureau of in this case. But it wasn't. There were two options in my hand. Either to lose hand, give up at the same time the way it happened some the previous day, or to move forward and practice upon my strategy that I had always set and that has always worked. Now let me put forward the strategies. Simple. Let's say this is a bet. At night, it was one of my uh, advance to go and walk for minimum three kilometers because I counted that I remember one day and talk to yourself in English. This will do two things. First of all, obviously give the impetus to improve your communication skills and second, your point, think in English. It happened for pretty a long number of months because I need to prove my principles so before I left the school that you are wrong and I'm right. I know what I've done. Maybe certain mistakes during your speech presentation cannot judge so many years of hard work. 21st January, Netaji Jayanti. At the same time, it was our school favorite. Good morning, ladies, gentlemen, and non binary It's time to leave this institution, an institution that has left behind years of legacy. And here I am one of its products to leave this institution and go back. And to all my friends, my juniors, my uncles and aunts out there, thank you for all that you have given me. Acha chalta do all my let me take a leap. Remember me in your prayers. That is the last line of my speech. Roaring audience. The principals who walked went on the stage and took the podium. Everybody, please stand up and give a huge round of applause for Ritwik Dash. For you know why? I expect. Five is down the line. Ritwik Dash coming to the institution, speaking no less than Shikhera and Dedeb O'Brien, and doing it for free. Will you? Um, I'll think of the charges later. <laughs> that was the story of how I went up from the abuse of darkness. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much, Prithvik. Yes, we have understood that we should never give up. So dear friends, don't give up on your relationships. Respect each other if you want your relationships to work. Well, now is the time to vote for the best speaker. So I request the deck master to launch the polls for the best speaker on virtual stage. And please, all of you are requested to vote in the physical room also. I, I think I am not able to see the polls on virtual stage. Are they have they been launched? The polls on the virtual uh, stage are facing some issues. You can send in your results to the temporary Toastmasters users individually. Okay, okay. So rest everybody is done with the voting. Yes. Thank you very much, dear friends. So we'll carry on the conversation. Now, the next thing that I want to discuss with you is that nowadays relationships are built on first sight and they are broken at first sight. Why does this happen? This is really a sensitive issue. We'll keep on discussing about it. But now is the time to, first of all, build on our impromptu speeches. So let me invite on stage PM Gur Sifat as the table topic master who is going to bring some interesting topics for you. Over to you, PM Gur Sifat. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Welcome to the most fascinating segment, Table Topic Segment. So what is the Table Topic Segment? For the benefit of guests, I would like to tell that it helps you to aid in interviews, give presentations while you are in college, or giving quick replies to your boss if they ask you in the middle of the meeting, or when your parents ask, why are you home late? You need to answer them to you. So this is how table topic segment will help you. Uh, so this time there is a twist in our in this table topic segment. You have to come on the stage. There are seven topics that I have prepared. In each topic, there are four words. You need to cook a story using those four words. It's necessary for you to use those four words. So and in this segment, guests can also participate. The time allotted is one to two minutes with a buffer of 30 seconds on the upper hand. I would uh, request an experienced master or uh, those masters to come first. So who would like to volunteer? Somebody who doesn't have a role today. Lucky number one. 
Toastmaster and Moon. Darkness, friends, table, metro. Darkness, friends, table, metro. Toastmaster and Moon. Certainly, we did some research on this. Okay, so darkness and darkness. Cool. So it was, I mean, it was I think twelve in the night. You know, it's not twelve in the night. Three. And all the metros were basically closed. Up. There was darkness everywhere in my office. I basically was just. The the only thing which is illuminating the whole room was the laptop screen. That's it. And <clears throat> my mother, of course, saying, "Where are you? I, I you need to come home right now." And I go, "Mom, didn't I tell you I was supposed to work overtime?" And she goes, "No, no, 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 no. There's food at the table. You need to come home right now." And I go, "What is it?" And she goes, it's dark, man. I go, ah, that 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 sounds very delicious, but I really just can't. But I control whatever my urges to eat the whole, a uh, basically whole bowl of dal chawal or like a whole um, whatever cooking cooking pan. And um, basically, a friend of mine calls me and he says. Bro, we're having beer. You want to come? I go, of course, bro. Screw the dal chawal. I'm coming to beer. <laughs> and as soon as I leave office, he comes to, he comes pick, he, he picks me up in the middle of the night, and we go on, and we stop by a theka, and he just gives me, <laughs> yes, yes, it's a theka. I'm gonna say, it. and we order. Well, well, we first we tell this guy. Bring it, bring it here. And he goes, sir, he, we, we don't allow people to drink here. And I go, we drink wherever we want. <laughs> you cannot stop us. <laughs> and he brings up a table, and we just take a sip of beer, and that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So an amazing table topic with a fun pinch of humor in it. So let's call our second volunteer who would like to come next. Toastmaster says, "Office songs, barriers for fun. Office songs, barriers for fun." Toastmaster says, "Over to you." I'm having my first meeting with Alan. And I have a meeting duration of one hour. And after that, I have went to concert of EPT. How many of you know EPT? He's a Punjabi singer. Yes. Meanwhile, in a meeting, I am attending. I am doing a presentation, and sometimes it stuck in my mind the song, song of EPT. What would I do? I cannot eat popcorn. I cannot do anything. I am in a meeting right now. That song, which was stuck in my mind, acted as a barrier for me. It distracted me in presenting my whole thing which I want to present in a meeting. The meeting was late. The duration of the meeting lasted two hours thirty minutes, and I became an interrupter. That's <laughs> right. We all eat popcorn. Ben. Anybody want to volunteer? Better person. Then we go for movies. <laughs> so when we feel craving at night, or whenever we feel hungry, we can cook active popcorn. And by eating active popcorn, we can also saw various movies and various songs of every to those or any other singer which you like. The meeting ends. I became the 
own your Tesla and own the scenario. Thank you so much for today. <laughs>
the difference that happens is after you get married because then the gift boxes actually need to be filled with something the difference that comes into the picture is that after marriage earlier your christmas was just sitting at home relaxing doing whatever the hell you want after marriage or christmas has to be that you have to be dressed you have to have a proper christmas tree there has to be christmas songs and there has to be a lot of gift around it but thing all this uh, being married only 3 4 years ago and And very easy to get into the entire topic of marriage itself. Uh, marriage, uh, you know what makes festivals fun? When you actually celebrate them with your loved ones. And one thing that I realized is that it's not just that you're around loved ones and you can feel that festivity. You need to express it. And being a guy, guys generally have a very low emotional quotient. And that is why Father's Day will be the most awkward day, <coughs> right? You can never wish your dad happy Father's Day. You can never go and just hug him and tell him that that I love you. Whereas this sister can very well easily do that. So, what marriage does to you is bring you a partner wherein those festivals get even better because then you have a female equivalent to balance off your emotional weakness, and you can display the love and you can enjoy the festivals and the Christmas tree and the boxes. Well done, yes, Harsh. It was an amazing session by you. Uh, so that's all by me. It was an amazing session, and I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I request the tech master to raise the balance for the rest. After the break. After the break. Let's thank you very much. Thank you very much, T M Gosipur, for holding such an interesting session. And now I think there would be a break for five minutes. We'll meet again after five minutes break.
I think everybody is back. Shall we start? Yes, so we can start. Well, thank you very much. And once again, let us give a big round of applause for the table topic master as well as table topic speakers. <laughs> I request all of you to please cast your vote for the best table topic speaker. And if the poll can be launched online, please launch it on virtual stage also. Table topic speakers were Toastmaster Anmol, Toastmaster Sahelvi, Toastmaster Omeka, and Guest Hurt. Thank you. Are we done with the voting? One more minute. We are done with the voting on the physical stage. Thank you very much. Well, dear Toastmasters and dear guests, as we have been talking, we conclude that relationships do not click by themselves. We need to make them survive. We need to make them click. So I would just say build bridges, not fall. Treasure your relationships, not positions. With this note, I will hand over the mic to the general evaluator of the day, TM Guruansh Deep Singh. TM Guruansh, please do for the event. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day. So, if somebody here does not know what Naru is, to just explain that I'm the boss. <laughs> as simple as that, throughout the meeting, I was observing every single speaker who was coming up on the stage. I was evaluating him or her. And so is my team, and so was my team. To start with the speech evaluators, the prepared speaker evaluators, let's call upon the stage the first speech evaluators. That is Toastmaster Sahaj Deep to evaluate the speech of Toastmaster Deep with a huge round of applause. <laughs> If one has to reach his goal, he or she must know his objectives and milestones. And today, CM Deepak Das did the same. He knows what he has to deliver. He knows the structure of the speech, how to phrase a basic speech with a purpose, and how to evaluate the audience. 
and that was the purpose which he put this. Now coming on to the first point which he did in the speech. He was clear as a mind of what he is delivering. He know that what audience wants. And I want to kudos to you and give a that you were actually asking questions to the audience, which is a very confident job. The use of some relatable words, like think in Hindi translation, which is relatable to the audience, and we all it, and we added value to our lifestyle. That was commended. And use of the content like loot rahat, that was also clear. As you all know, there is a plus and minus. So let's move on to the recommendation. And what are the challenges? So for the speaker, I challenge you whenever you next time come up with the stage, please speak with a great smile. Because when you come with a smile, you actually present a positive response to the audience, which creates an optimistic atmosphere with the audience. And throughout the your speaking session, make sure you are interacting with each audience. You have to maintain eye contact precisely. Here, I would like to add one more point that your context was low always, but it was very commendable to be asking questions. But think you should ask questions at a low pace. Don't ask frequent questions. Stick to your content, what you want to deliver. Share more knowledge what you have, what you want. Next challenge for you is improve your voice knowledge. You were great on the stage, your gestures were great. One more challenge extra act. Use your stage. You have this to this side. Use your stage. Utilize your time. Say what you want to say. Stage presence creates an impact in the world. And that was where you were lacking. And I wish you all the best for your next speech. And I wish that you will not be as charging in the next speech. Thank you so much, all the gentlemen. I hope that Toastmaster Deepak Mahathir has learned a lot from the recommendations given by Toastmaster SD and also is empowered by the recommendations that will continue to do the same. Now let's call upon the stage, the evaluator, the second evaluator, Toastmaster, Toastmaster Gurupi, who, who will be evaluating the speech of Toastmaster Bhavana. Please come up on the stage with a huge round of applause. Remembering what you want. And that was beautifully highlighted by our speaker today, Toastmaster Bhavanath. Kudos to him. The highlight of his speech was the systematic way he all took us through what is the problem of not being disciplined. He first declared the problem about related to timetables, diet plan, or alarm. Why are be able to follow it. Then he took us that what is actually discipline mean and how it is defined. He also then took us to that why do we fail to follow it and also give us some key, key takeaways. So in this way, the speaker declared the problem, defined what is missing and also gave us the solution. That was a beautiful way of having a speech. His eye contact while giving us key takeaways. You need burning desire, hand gestures, clarity were amazing. To take this speech to the next level, the speaker could do the following. He would have more vocal variety in his speech. Stress on important words. For example, why do we fail to follow? Or do you know what is the meaning of discipline? You need burning desire, use of pauses. I also felt that the speaker can utilize this whole stage, Being, declaring the problem at this stage, defining the problem here, and giving us the solution at a different place. That could have helped in achieving the objectives of the speech in a better way. The speaker, what I liked the most was linking everything to those masters. That is staying relevant to the stage. That if you want to be a great communicator, 
this is what you need to do making it relevant the speaker did an amazing job in achieving achieving the objectives or also key takeaway as a summary that we can more uh, review our speech so that we can get it on a next level that was all from my end thank you so much thank you so much for your good speech for sharing your evaluation now it's time to call upon the stage the third evaluator of today's meeting that is so smart darshan will be evaluating the speech of so smart sir with which if i'm not wrong being strong with this is so is your virtual speech yes virtual handshake with you and over to you <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. General Evaluator. First of all, let us congratulate Toastmaster Ritwik for completing and achieving the speech objectives. There was one constant line which was reverberating around myself and in my head. Shall I take a step back or look forward? Shall I take a step back or look forward? constantly there was around 5 to 6 times when the speaker said these words the speech was absolutely engaging anyone in the world can relate to that we all had participated in the debating competitions be it school or college or anywhere in our lives it is not the matter of concern that whether we lose or we win it is about going forward and we sage and take that thought in your mind let us let us go forward that is the point where you can inspire others and you can empower inspiration comes when you look forward quite an inventive approach by the speaker towards his speech and constructive it was a structured way and a natural flow was going on and that is a catalyst in the speech when there was a dialogue delivery now with this a judge who was at debating competition while he was sitting and adjusting his volume and the tone at the same time standing and then sitting that has a catalyst in the speech to take it to the next level well amazing job on that a debating competition judging loss losing winning and then giving the dates highlighted of the dates a very structured approach towards the speech when what do you have to, uh, what he has to speak and when to speak and the duration of the period like there was 30th june 2019 and taking it forward to the 23rd of the january next year and winning eventually was amazing to be honest so there are points to ponder well the most of the time i saw the speaker had his hands near the belly region and they were like this so that made a quite constant approach it could have adjusted according to the situation and according to what he was speaking that might resonate around himself and in the last part of the speech where his principal acknowledged him and gave a shout out and charged up that please uh, give a big round of applause to ritvik dash that could have been adjusted too and where it was quite constant and i was thinking that could have been made like this come 23rd january it's the birthday of netaji subhash chandra bose yet another competition and finally you know what was the result what acknowledgement did i received my principal came and he said give a big round of applause to ritvik dash so that is a joyful moment that is encouraging moment that is where inspiration comes from so that has to be that has to be adjusted accordingly overall all the speaker was absolutely confident quite a diligent approach with his speech and eye contact was also spot on and as we said it, it was an inspirational speech well the my take away from the speech is keep hustling until you reach the pinnacle well over to mr general evaluator Thank you, Toastmaster Darshan, for sharing such nice evaluation of Toastmaster Ritwik. Now let's come up on to the evaluators. 
No, no, I, I guess I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. 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 Pardon me. Well, my name is Guru Shri Singh and I have been called Guru, Guru Sharan, Guru Raj. <laughs> so I can probably relate to what you are saying. Absolutely. Now coming upon the evaluation by the auxiliary team. So let's first call upon the flash of the meeting, the timer of the day, Toastmaster Pooja to share the report with the audience. Starting with our auxiliary role players, uh, language evaluator, Toastmaster Raghav, just three minutes, one second. Our founder, Pravin, just one minute, 25 seconds. Our listener, just two minutes, 25 seconds. Parliamentarian, just 30, 37 seconds. And our joke master, just two minutes, 38 seconds. Talking about our speakers, speaker one, Toastmaster Deepak Das, just six minutes, 40 seconds. And his evaluator, Toastmaster Sahaj, took 2 minutes 25 seconds. Speaker 2, Toastmaster Bhavananjah, took 6 minutes 28 seconds. And his evaluator, Toastmaster Gurti, took 2 minutes 24 seconds. Speaker 3, Toastmaster Ritwik Dash, took 7 minutes and 33 seconds. And his evaluator, Darshan, Toastmaster Darshan, took 3 minutes 15 seconds. Uh, talking about our table topic, speaker, Toastmaster Anmol took 2 minutes 13 seconds. Toastmaster Sahaj took 1 minute 43 seconds. Toastmaster Bhumika took 2 minutes 20 seconds. And, two, and yes, Harsh took 1 minute 47 seconds. Over to I can see that there are probably everyone is a college student, if I'm not wrong, right? right. Or a Bonobi college student. <laughs> So we might have watched this web series film. How many of you have watched it? So there is a character named Ross in it, who has a little bit of what do we say in text inside him to correct everybody's grammar, grammatical errors. So with the usual round of applause, let's call the beginning of the day to share his report. Yes, you can come. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, once again, a very good evening to everyone. So, today we have had a meeting about relationships. One thing that I want to say that I should say that that's really important to keep that in mind. That thing is that having relationships in our lives is very important. I agree to that. But having a relationship with a right person is more important. Like, <laughs> All the relationships that I have spoken about, like a good relationship can make you a better person, but a bad relationship can even destroy the one you are right now. <laughs> so coming back to my report, so the good words which were spoken today's meeting was notorious, which means famous or well known for bad quality. The next word is reciprocate which means respond to corresponding one. Another word, the most interesting word which I heard today was victorious ludorum, <laughs> which is a Latin word, which means a winner. Another word is errant, which means a task, a job or a chore. Another word is impetus, which means energy, force or momentum. Another word is reverberate, which means be repeated several times as an echo. So some of the good idioms were rub under the carpet, which means to ignore, deny or concede. And another one is bed of roses, which means a place or situation of agreeable ease. So the idiom of the day was spoken two times throughout the meeting, which made me a little chagrin. <laughs> So, adding to my one, the word tagging was spoken for six times in the meeting. So, talking about the bad usage or a little mistake which we should keep in mind, the, instead of it has changed me, the correct sentence is it has changed me. So, because the sentence 
is a uh, present perfect tense. So with if we use have or has, the third form of verb is used. And one word, uh, one sentence is if you are self-controlled. Instead of this, the sentence is if you have self self-control. So that's it. That's all for my board. Back to the new method. Um, what was I saying? Uh, well, that was three hours and two arms, and I counted mine. Did you? So to call, uh, to call the hour counter of the day, who will be telling how many hours and arms you use, how many syllables you use? Let me please call upon the stage toastmaster to remain with you on the call. Thank you, General Evaluator. So I will be presenting my hour counter report here. In the prepared features section, Toastmaster Deepak Das had two hours and one arm, and Toastmaster Bhavanand had one hour and one arm, and he had used one filler word but, and he had used the word most of us two to three times, and Toastmaster Rizvik had two hours and he had used filler word well two times, and in the table topics section, Toastmaster Anmol had used filler word so one time. And Toastmaster Sage and Toastmaster Himika had no filler words or filler sounds. So I, in the end, I will just urge the Toastmaster and speakers to abstain from using these words as it would only hamper the effectiveness of their speeches. So they can be careful in the future to not to minimize the use of these words and sounds. So that's my vote. And thank you. And back to general value. So let me ask a very small question from uh, let's call Toastmaster Deepak Rai. Yes. What adds in the most impact and engages the audience most in a speech while constructing a speech? Mm -hmm. I was saying that what element adds a lot of impact in the speech at the very same time engages the audience and grabs their attention the most? Humor. Exactly. So to tell that who used correct humor, who used uh, wherein the humor can be proved, let let me call upon the speech the joke master of the we day. We won't be having joke master. Uh, we will now have the listener. We won't be having a joke master. You don't have to. Yes. Yeah. My joke has been ruined. My joke. Joke you. Let me cook up a very small story for the listener as well. It is rightly said that to become a great conversationalist, we have to listen first. Listen to the other person. So to have this quality, we have the active listener of the day who will be asking certain questions to us. You were aware in the speech or you were you sleeping? Were you were you here we asking the question? So let me call upon the stage to ask the question. Thanks. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear listeners. So I have something, but this is a box, but not very good in this time. <laughs> something else. So friends, uh, today, just as I have shared with you, I am um, playing the role of active listener. So I will just uh, ask you some questions. Uh, so it shows how you are so active. I think everybody is active. So in prepared speech, you're very, I think, fantastic. So everybody has inspired me. So that's really good speeches. So just first two uh, questions, uh, just uh, from PM Arvind. Uh, so from the joke master, this very joke, good joke. Everybody was laughing. So, which movie he talked about? So, just first, just raise your hands and I will ask because uh, no, everybody knows that. So, right. Sahel, 50 m Must that very good? So, I have to pass on that. <laughs> So, yeah, so uh, question second one is the uh, Toastmaster. Uh, what is the name? I forgot his name. Uh, first prepared speech. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, so he said one up uh, one year ago, just one game changer. So what was that? So that only one person. What he started to do, and that's the game changer. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. Sorry. <laughs> so 
third one is the um, Toastmaster uh, Bhavani. Am I right, Bhavani? Toastmaster Bhavani. He uh, just uh, shared about the two discipline type of discipline. So who want to share that one? Two type of course, discipline. Oh, only one, two person Okay, then. Uh, self and focus very good very good so self self control and force control these are two disciplines very important thank you for tm one and so this why everybody nobody has achieved that speech <laughs> so third one uh, so third uh, tm this week very good speech very very inspiring so which class of the standard he was that time his father shared that only two person are there three okay one more four so guess which standard he was that time and the father said they don't have the financial financial tools okay that time of that the father said uh, he did not have financial. Take point. Huh? Take point. So, tell me. Six. Very good. Yeah, you were very active. <laughs> okay. So, uh, third one, which school Rithvik was there? Rithvik is school name. <laughs> What do you no, 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 Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I have but time is limited, so thank you so much. So just distribute those who are met. <laughs> give me one I can give the general evaluator. He's a boss. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Now, how many people love themselves? Love themselves the most. Okay, okay. So, what is one such attribute that actually makes oneself to love them? Exactly. Discipline. And so is going to tell that how was the discipline of the entire meeting, the parliamentarian of the house, those masters, here is the huge round of applause. Thank 
So for the convenience of the audience, let me first just uh, announce the names of the evaluators. The first evaluator is Toastmaster Sahedji. Can you just stand up for a second? The second evaluator is Toastmaster Bhadri. Can you please stand up for a second? And the third one is Toastmaster Darshan. He's on the virtual stage. So please do cast your valuable vote. To talk about the auxiliary role player, we first have the timer, Toastmaster Pooja. Please can you stand up for a second? Thank you so much. Toastmaster Raga, thank you. Toastmaster Praveen, thank you so much. Toastmaster Arvin, thank you. Toastmaster Fareed, thank you so much. And Toastmaster Ajit. Have everybody casted the valuable votes? If anyone has not voted for the best of the you can vote for the same. Has everybody casted their votes? Anybody left? Okay. So now the time was for what probably I was waiting, sitting right there and evaluating every single person and putting down on my notes. To start with, Toastmaster uh, Hride, when was the meeting started? 6.45. And at which day? Tuesday. Now, for all of us, the meeting started at 6.45 on a Tuesday, but for there are some people in the meeting, the EC team, who, who had the meeting started a week before, probably the preparation were going for a week before. From finding the perfect road there, from finding the venue, it is already already decided, but we're coordinating with the with the venue holder. So can we have a huge round of applause for the EC members? <laughs> Thank you. Now let's start with the speakers in order of the of, of they came on the stage. So start with the sergeant at the arm. The sergeant of the sergeant at the arm has the responsibility to put in the energy in the in, within the audience. And she did it very easily. She had a very cheer, cheerful smile and energy, which is contagious and was seen throughout the meeting. To talk about the brethren, you know, being a, a general parent from, from other clubs also makes, makes me take certain takeaways to in my meeting as well. The peace session was truly commendable and it was something great uh, to motivate the guests and the members to climb up the leadership ladder of those months. So great hope on that. To talk about the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster of the day did a really amazing job. And, and honestly, I had learned a lot from the team. And the selection of the team was also very nice. She stood on the virtual stage while speaking, which is truly showing the fact that she is moving out of the comfort zone. But there are certain recommendations as well. To talk about the Toastmaster of the day, the Toastmaster of the day has to be more like a host more like an anchor and a less like a prepared speaker. So interaction with the general audience can be improved in a little bit and can be implicated with the team or session. And the second recommendation that instead of using the abbreviated form that is Toastmaster or TM, one can use Toastmaster with Rick, right? Toastmaster Deepak, Toastmaster Sage. We can use this in this way because we are all proud to be a Toastmaster. The third recommendation is that I know that there is, there is a certain glitch when it comes from communicating from the from the physical podium to the virtual podium. But I request the Toastmaster of the day to just don't interrupt or cut the speaker in between just so that the flow is not breaking and the speaker who is speaking is well respected. 
want to talk about my baby that has a auxiliary role player. <laughs> to start with the commendations of the entire auxiliary role player, it was astonishing to see that every single role player who was starting the explanation of his or her role to the context of the team. And this is also taken which I'm taking to my own girl. That is so much of a very silly. You are a guest, right? Do visit our club as well. After we have ambition of the club, so that's probably <laughs> not to talk about the commendation of the time, the flash of the meeting, greatly explain the role. But a small recommendation is that if, for an example, a speaker stands for one to two minutes, then, then uh, the timer of the day can show the green card from one to two minutes and not putting it down. Similarly, from one to one and a half minutes, this, and a uh, pardon, uh, from one and a half to two minutes, this, and from two till the speaker ends, the third card. The second recommendation uh, to the timer of the day is to add in a little creativity while representing the report so that the audience who has been sleeping wakes up. Now to talk about the grammarian of the day. So what's the usage of the word of the day? It is to make it usable in a day-to-day -day life. And we could see that there were several speakers who were using the word of the day. Thus, the mission of giving the word of the day is improved and is well maintained. So great work on that. Also, it was a great way to share the report and he had a very little subtle smile on the face, which is actually very required. So great work. Now to talk about the recommendation, he, the, the grammarian of the day is a great speaker, but using stage mode can make him even greater. To talk about the R counter of the day, the recommendation is that the report was precise. And the motive, uh, the motive was well shaped. Talk about the active listener of the day. A, a few commendations is that it, it was a great observation and questions were really nice, which can be easily answered. So kudos to you on that. But a little recommendation to you is to work a little more on the body language plan. Use your hand gestures, use your facial gestures very nicely. To talk about the joke master of the day. I only have one recommendation and a recommendation for you. <clears throat> one of the greatest, one of the most difficult things to do is to make the audience laugh. And the joke master of the day did it extremely, extremely gracefully. So that's something really great and we can all learn from the speaker. So storytelling, the art of storytelling is yet another important thing while delivering the speech and it was well done. But a small recommendation to you is that you can enhance this, enhance um, the art of storytelling by adding a little subtle pauses in between, just so that the story is being spoken by the audience. To talk about the parliamentarian, I only have a recommendation that is while you were while you were delivering your report, making the audience applause shows that you are comfortable with an audience as if you are asking the question. There are no specific recommendations. I would request you to just keep on enhancing this case. Now to talk about the speakers, the three evaluators, if I'm going to if I'm going to say that these were the recommendations, these were, these were the recommendations, and I would probably let down the, the honorable evaluator. So what I'll be doing is I'll be just adding a little few points which I got to know from an audience's perspective. The first one being the speaker number one, the recommendation to you is uh, that Instead of asking too many questions, we just have value the five to seven minutes in between. And let's just utilize it very wisely instead of asking questions with the audience. That is a, that is the task of the Toastmaster of the Yes, one or two questions in between is really nice to capture the audience's attention. To talk about the speaker number two, they will value the point. The content for me, to be very honest, content is the king. And it was well honored that the entire this entire content if somebody listened it very nicely was truly astonishing and truly nice but a little, little recommendation to will that the eye contact front can be improved from one speaker to another to another to another this can be improved so that the sleeping audience can wake up to talk about the speaker number three to use the prop shows your comfort but i would request that instead of using your prop towards the right Use it in the between so that it is clearly visible. From an audience's perspective, which was sitting right there, I was unable to see you. 
At the very same time, the hand gestures could be improved a little bit along with the facial gestures. I gave this recommendation to you, seeing the fact that you are indeed a great speaker and a speaker who can probably win district level contest in the upcoming future. To talk about the table topic master, I have a few recommendations for that it was greatly, it was it is great to explain the use case of table topic speaker because there are people who might lack certain motivation that ah, why should I come up on the stage? Why should I step out of the comfort zone? So it's something that is great to motivate the speaker. But at times the hand gesture along with the facial gestures can improve the way of your speaking, along with the subtle smile which is extremely crucial. Now, to talk about the table topic speakers, I'll just say a recommendation and then a recommendation because I see what's the good name. Uh, Toastmaster Gurpreet already just shone in the audience. <laughs> to talk about the commendation, the commendation is that the speaker added in a lot, lot of voice modulation. A small recommendation is to use a body gesture. To talk about the table topic speaker too, I only have a commendation that, that it is clearly difficult for adding humor and body gestures at the very same time, especially when you are speaking in talk. To talk about table topic speaker three, it was a great job, but can improve a little more on the aspects of storytelling. And it was seen that you were deviating with the challenge that the table topic speaker gave, that the table topic master gave. So it can be integrated in between. To talk about table topic four, I just have two small commendations. That is, you had a great and open body language, which is very nice. And I don't seem that you were a guest, it seems that you were at an experience of master. So put it for that. <sighs> Talk about the evaluator one. The commendation is to start the evaluation with a small quote quotation, which captures the audience's attention, which is really nice. The second one is to create is to speak in the third person perspective, which was how the evaluator one started. But towards the end, you were again talking the first and the second person perspective, which can be improved a little bit. To talk about this, to talk about the recommendations front, the recommendation is to give recommendation and just a single challenge in the last after the conclusion has been given. Also, I would like to ask you to inculcate the CRT approach within your evaluation. To explain just a little bit of CRT, CRT is a sandwich approach where we have to put the recommendation in between the commendation and the commendation. And then to add in a little process, the conclusion and the challenge could be given. To talk about the evaluator number two, the recommendation, the commendation for you is that it was a great observation as you were casting certain examples and this and the listener will probably tell you. This evaluator number two has a subtle smile on the face, which is something that is really crucial. The only recommendation to you is to use a good body language. What do I mean is that this within the shoulder level, if you are moving out, is something that is an open body language, and this when we are moving in between our, our shoulders, that's a closed body language. So it can be used from, from the speaker's objective to another. A small recommendation to you is that whenever we are giving the virtual platform, we can stand up and the challenge since you seem to be an evaluator, since the evaluator three seems to be an experienced evaluator, a little challenge can be given as an evaluator one was trying to give. Now to talk about the meeting recommendations, a few recommendations is not firstly uh, leave the stage empty. Toastmasters platform respects the stage the most and I, and I request whenever the speaker is on the virtual platform, either the president or the Toastmaster or the other subject at arms can stay at the stage just so that the stage area is well respected. To talk about second, I would like to ask a person who is neither a speaker nor an evaluator, just put up your hand. And while you were while you were like listening to uh, let's say Toastmaster Bhavan's speech, did you have certain commendations and recommendations in your mind which you wanted to deliver? So we can inculcate this habit of giving a feedback on a slip to the speaker, and there can be a one-minute feedback session time from the audience to give the feedback. And the last one is to not leave the
Hello, am I audible? I have lost the connection. I'm saying hello. Well, can anybody tell me whether the general evaluation section is over because I have lost the connection? Uh, hello. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, I think uh, the speaker view has switched off from there just because we have constraints of time and Pradhim has started giving the speakers award or the meeting award. <laughs> so what should I do? Uh, I am just connecting with him, but he is not picking the call. There must be some issue. Okay. Let me wait. What is this? Okay, ma'am. So I have contacted Anmol, and he's saying Pradyum's phone's battery has switched. Uh, Pradyum's phone has been switched off because of low battery. So we have started uh, announcing the awards. Should I exit Darshan? Yes, I, I think that, uh, we have to do because the meeting I think has been ended. If we can see in the uh, treasurer Arvind's phone. It's also not clear. Okay. Yeah, that, that is also blurred. Everybody is standing up for the photograph, I think. Okay, okay. How are you? I'm wonderful, ma'am. How are you? Great, great. I like to connect with you some other day. Nowadays, I'm busy with checking after that. Sure, ma'am, sure. Uh, and uh, what about you? Uh, are you okay? Fine? Weather is changing. Yes, uh, there, there, was, there has been a few rains around in Delhi and uh, it's become a bit cold in night. But overall, it's well. Okay. Good night then. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a nice, have a good night. Bye then. Bye.